Yo, look at this shit. This shit is fucking big. How much is it? Look, it's like six bucks or something like that. This thing is big, man. <laughs> yeah, actually gonna get this for the uh, for the puppies right now. So, damn, I do not think that they're actually gonna climb over this thing. So, ooh, look at that, dude. This thing is big. So, yeah, gonna grab this, uh, take it home, and then uh, yeah, put a lot of cedar wood in there, and then now the puppy's gonna live in here. So, yeah, we'll see about that, you guys. Send out the guinea pole, y'all. Uh, a little a little too overboard uh, seems a little too big but we'll make it work somehow um so i gotta move all this shit just so that i can put the kitty pool over there and yeah all the puppies are gonna be in here now and uh yeah they're gonna have a lot of playroom and guys as you guys see uh actually i like the cedar wood at tractor supply better but just because it's bigger and uh you know it's not like really really tiny where it could like have an easier time getting inside their eyes or it's all dusty and shit so i actually like the big ones so every time if you guys are to ever get like wood chips or something like this i always recommend always get the biggest ones that you can have and not the not the small ones uh that's just my recommendations and for you guys but yeah all right guys and spraying all that <coughs> uh, that's some uh it's in my fucking mouth about well, yeah i've been pretty good yeah not too much, you see. Only this, like, it's really only a quarter. Was it only a quarter? Yeah, it was only a quarter of that bag, and it already filled everything up. And uh, you, we don't need to fill it up too high, just uh, a little bit low. And uh, and since it's already the surface area is already big enough, and that's pretty much all we need. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's place all the puppies in here. Let's see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. <laughs> They were all scared. They're scared. <laughs> They're scared. Like, what is this? Is this a fucking jungle? What's up, big guys? Hey, Cal, turn the light on, too. Look at that, y'all. What's up, beast? What's up, big guy? Damn, big guy. You gotta turn the light on, too. They're your new brothers now. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I actually never really put them together. But now, since they're all uh, a little over four weeks now, they can hold their all body temperatures uh, by themselves now. So hopefully the light's not fucked up. But yeah, all big now and everything. Look at that. They don't really know each other. <laughs> she's so fat and she's just so low to the ground, bro. It's crazy. Look at that. I got, I got red phone right there. There's uh, a booger right there. There's Cyclops right there. Got um, Cardi, just fat girl. Oh wait, yeah, that's Cyclops. Right there is a uh, baby girl. And uh, who else did I miss? Did I miss somebody? I missed somebody. Oh, Boogie, yeah, Boogie with a hoodie, boy. Yeah, look at Boogie. Look at that. So, can you guys guess who are the little ones? Yep, right, right there and right there. So, yeah, so these are Bambi's kids right here. And then right here, these are Missy's kids. So we right there. So uh, the female's already in, like she's already reserved. But yeah, it's uh, pretty much it. So got them a whole new kitty pool and everything. So yeah, everything's all good now. Look at that. They don't even care about the other one. <laughs> now they don't care. They're just like, ah, whatever. You know, they're just puppies. Who cares? You know, so the thing I am afraid about is that uh, the older ones might, you know, they might chew on the other ones. So uh, I'm gonna have to watch out watch that out for a little bit but hey that's actually how they learn and you know so like interact with each other socially so really important thing to have when it comes to the litter is for puppies to interact with each other fight each other bite each other and bother each other pretty much so yeah that's pretty much it so gonna clean all this up organize this and yeah i'll show you guys again so, yeah, so yeah. yeah just don't need the incubator no more with the puppies and yeah after about like three and a half weeks four weeks don't even need the incubator no more you know Heats, you know, they can have their own shiver reflex. They, they really develop that. And honestly, they don't need the, any more heat or external heat source. So it's already good enough. This thing's been running on forever. You know, I don't know how much power it takes, but I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't take too much power. But, oh, man, finally, it's all done. 
and Danny, all these puppies are doing good and fine now. So I'm gonna show you guys the puppies real quick. So, ba -ba -bum. what's up, boogers? <laughs> what's up, boys? As you guys can tell, who are Missy's kids and who are Bamba's kids? You guys know? Really easy. I'll show you guys. <laughs> And don't say because, oh, just because you know, because the colors and shit. Dude, they literally all look the same. I'll show you. These are puppies at four weeks old. These are puppies at six weeks old now. Yeah, they literally just turned six. But look at this. You see the ears? The ears are not developed yet. So, like, they're not, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're developed, but they're just not up yet is what I meant. They're not the bat ears. They still got the Labrador doodle ears and shit, so... Yeah, look at that. All the ears are all up, and uh, yeah, these guys' ears are not quite up yet. So, what's the average time that I can say that when Frenchie's ears go up? Well, it's actually like five or six weeks, and some can even come earlier. It just all really depends, but usually within like weeks five through seven is like the average, but sometimes the puppy's ears may not come up until like they're, they're eight weeks or nine. It just it just all depends, and some puppies are gonna be late bloomers, and some puppies, sometimes their ears are gonna be like this. One's gonna be down, one's gonna be up. Literally, there's, there's always uh, some that's gonna be like that, and I call them the late bloomers. And uh, yeah, usually when you do have that problem, um, sometimes you might need to tape the ear up and give them like calcium tablets and uh but assuming you know if it goes on farther than eight weeks like two months then you possibly might need to start doing that but i don't know it's uh it's it's your it's your assessment to tell whether or not to actually do that or not but as you guys can see here all my puppies their ears are doing all good and stuff so hello baby girl what's up fun boy and what's up tiger so yeah um all doing good and these guys man oh what stop stop eating your sister hmm yeah i don't know if you guys heard him getting mad but dude this boy is chunky boy i named this guy boogie boogie with the hoodie boy boogie with the hoodie and he's a little beast too and this girl too she's the smallest one but damn she is thick and fat right, let me show you guys her belly button She's seriously, she's got an Audi belly button. I've never had that problem before. Not a problem, but I never had one that's had an Audi belly button. If you guys see everybody else's, their belly buttons are either just non-existent or it's, it's. I guess you can call it an any belly button. But dude, look at this. Look, so Audi, no belly button. But when I get her, right, she's the one with the, the no bat ears. It comes out. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold up. It's crazy. Look at that. It like comes out. You see that? Yeah, that's a better look now. So pretty crazy. So yeah, I never had that situation with me before. But yeah, this is just a quick video with uh, what's the average week time of how puppy's ears should come up. And remember, Frenchie's ears are always round. They could, they should never be. <laughs> they should never be like a triangle, right? Like this. It should never be like triangles like that it should always be like this like rounded or it should be it should never be like triangles or sharp is what i'm trying to say what do you want dude huh tiger but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it that for the end of this video Ho hopefully you guys learned something from that and uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much it um most of my puppies are reserved already and um just because uh fawn boy right here as you guys see with the eye problem with his um He's not blind, as you guys can see, but I want to get that checked out just in case, just uh, just so it doesn't like have any future problems, and I will be paying uh, a price for that surgery if it ever does need surgery for that. But since they're so young, I might have to hold on hold on to him just a little bit longer, so that way um, uh, he's he's uh, future proof. Even though I signed contracts, even though I'm safe. I, I'd still want to be a responsible breeder. Make sure everything is good for the uh, with the puppies before they go to new homes. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, little dude. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching my video for uh, my puppies and pretty much my cute Frenchie puppies. As you guys can see, I just set it up this whole new litter and everything. Not litter, but this whole new pool and everything. So, that's pretty much it for the end of this video, you guys. Hopefully, you guys learned something from that. And, yeah, like and subscribe. Peace.